Ethiopia's economy is growing faster than ever before. It means more people have the chance to escape poverty. But there's something else, something that will create greater, faster change. Girls, nine million of them. And here's an even bigger number, four billion. That's how much Ethiopian girls would add to their economy if every girl finished school. And here's a smaller number, five, as in five girls who are eager to complete their education and willing to work. Like Alem, who lives with her parents. Soon, they will marry her off to secure her future and prevent any shame if she became pregnant outside of marriage. Oh, and one more thing, she's only 12. Next door is Meron. At 14, she does five times the amount of chores her younger brother does. Making dinner, fetching water or firewood, take her hours to complete and keep her from doing her best in school. Two hours away, 16-year-old Rosa already has a child and one on the way. Sometimes her husband beats her when she says no. She dreamt of becoming a teacher, but she is isolated and afraid and spends her days washing, cooking, cleaning, and selling corn. She sells her corn to 18-year-old Hannah. Hannah wants to expand her goat rearing business by selling the leather in a bigger town. But there's no bus from the village and it's too dangerous to walk. And since she's unmarried, her parents forbid her to travel alone. Four girls, each without a real opportunity to contribute fully to Ethiopia's economic development. The good news is there are solutions. What if everyone celebrated the extraordinary potential of these girls and the millions like them? What if Alem's parents saw that there is an alternative to child marriage? What if Meron could cook on a fuel-efficient stove so she had more time to study? And what if Rosa had access to birth control and violence was never tolerated, ever? What if there were better roads so Hannah could travel to town on her own? What if these four girls could have a life more like our fifth girl? That's me, by the way. My name is Sarah, and I'm set to graduate from university with a business degree. I've already been offered an apprenticeship. One day, I plan to run my own company. I network with young, ambitious women across the globe, and I plan to invest some of the money I earn in a project to build water points, close to Meron's home. Marriage and a family? Sure, someday, but when I decide. And we're not just talking about the five of us, we're talking about nine million girls, a whole generation of determined young women ready to shape their own future and that of their country. Remember that number, four billion? That's more than Ethiopia receives in aid each year. It's not complicated, it's just smart economics.